Ah, here we go again. What's going on, warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart, and um. <laughs> this is a mad one. The Bracer Group have acquired Crystal Dynamics, Edos Montreal, and Square Enix Montreal. Crazy. 300 million USD. Warriors, we're about to get into it, but you know, as always, i got to say thank you for still sticking with me, for watching, for commenting, for uh, messaging me on topics or videos that I should do. I appreciate you guys, you know, more than I could ever articulate. Uh, so yeah, just thank you and um, we're going to keep doing this thing. So here I am, trying to mind my own business, enjoy, um, what is it, a bank holiday? Yeah, bank holiday, May, May. And I see this information about the Bracer Group acquiring Square Enix. I'm like, what the hell? But then I looked into the details and they're um, acquiring Square Enix Montreal. Which is they're getting games like Deus X, Tomb Raider, uh, Legacy of Cain, all those type of games, yeah. But I don't. They don't get. Um, you know, of course they wouldn't. But let me just say it. They're not gonna get games like Guardians of the Galaxy, yeah, because that's Marvel, right? But they get the company behind it, you know, which is um, I think it was Crystal. Dynamic? No, Chris Dynamic was too radar. I think they were um, Edos Montreal. I'm not too sure, you know. But they acquired three um, studios, right? Um, and they have got, I think it was 1,000, over 1,000 employees, right, have now gone from Square Enix to the Bracer Group. And I saw articles saying, the gaming industry's best kept secret and um, the greatest, one of the most greatest powerful gaming um, companies that you've never heard of, I've heard of you, those of us that have done our due diligence, we've heard of the Bracer Group, we've seen you guys coming since 2018. Right, so when they try to say the best kept secret, na 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 na, not at all, not at all. We see you, cause this company, they are like the European version of Tencent, yeah, cause they're a Swedish company. They are trying to buy up as many game studios as possible because they have been spending billions on games studios if you google bracer group and you look at the games the studios that they've acquired it is ridiculous and scary at the same time I don't understand and it's not just it's not like it's just games that they're after as well like have you heard of dark horse comics or dark, dark horse comics and dark horse entertainment yeah they like you know berserk hellboy all those type of um books and media guess who owns that company bracer group just, I think it was last year, they bought Gearbox Entertainment, Borderlands. I think it was something like over a billion. Over, I think it was over a billion USD. 
they purchased yeah maybe it was like I think it was maybe one and a half billion or close to one and a half um, so over a billion but I think it was less than 1.5 billion right but I could be mistaken yeah so they bought Gearbox Entertainment just last year that is nothing compared to what this company owns absolutely nothing coach media like own coach media uh volition games right um have you heard of red faction and uh, what else have they got saints row guess who owns um those games essentially bracer group because those games um are owned by coach media and Co um, coach media owns volition games and volition games owns games like red faction and saints row they are all subsidiaries of the bracer group you look at um THQ Nordic. THQ Nordic, of course, they are owned by the Bracer Group. It's one of their first acquisitions. Right? Or mergers, you could call them. Deep Silver. Everyone's heard of Deep Silver, Persona. Uh, but they more they've got like a lot of games that they've made, but they publish games as well, right? So not only they, are they a developer, um, they own different types of media but they're also a publisher because deep silver distributes persona yakuza it owns all those type of games you know uh so this is a massive company man um metro exodus you know so all those kind of big games they distributed those games so everyone loves off persona persona 5 persona 5 royale you know, Sega game, but it was distributed by Deep Silver. Deep Silver, as I said, owned by Bracer Group. So this is massive, right? But I would say this is a bad decision from Square Enix, right? But I kind of feel like, although it's a bad decision, and I don't like it. In a way, I feel it's a good decision because Square Enix, man, they are screwing up, dude, with some of these games. Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider should be an absolute juggernaut. It should be one of the pillars of the gaming um, industry like when you hear Tomb Raider it should be in the same category as the gaming titans like League of Legends Final Fantasy Halo Devil May Cry Monster Hunter Final Fantasy Witcher I have to say Witcher Witcher is dead you know uh, it should be at that level, but it's not. Because I feel like Square never kind of understood how to promote, control, and maximize the potential of Tomb Raider. Because Tomb Raider is more like a video gaming industry darling. When it should be an absolute gigantic titan in the game because it's not marketed properly. And then you've got games like Hitman as well, which is another game that should be an absolute giant in the gaming industry, but it's not. Because I just feel that it's been mishandled by Square Enix, right? And then even if we go back, let's go back a bit, way back. PlayStation 1. I mean, okay, okay. Sega Mega Drive. 
Nintendo NES. There was no question. Japan dominated. Sonic, Mario, all those type of games, right? They dominated. Then you got the PlayStation 1 era, where Japan dominated RPGs, platform games, fighting games, puzzle games. Number one. PS2. They dominate as well. Metal Gear, Final Fantasy, Street Fighter, all these type of crazy games, you know, and there was thousands, literally thousands of games, Japanese games that even you've never heard of, but they're popular and they have their own communities of millions of people that love those games, right? Western developers were still creating games, good little games, but they were still in the shadow of Japanese games. Then came along the PS3, Xbox One, or no, Xbox 360. Yeah, it was Xbox 360. Then you had games like Halo. You had games like um, Gears of War, Oblivion, what else did we have, Witcher, Mass Effect, all these western games, open world games, not linear games, games with voice acting, character development, massive stories, branching stories, crazy we've never seen this before all of a sudden it started to expose the inadequacies of how most japanese games were very linear linear and they weren't they didn't have the biggest production behind them but they were really good games That's when the tide started to shift a little bit. But still Japanese developers making their games. And then we start to see current day. Because this was the period where Western games were winning. Yeah. Japan said, you know what? We're going to get gaming back. Along comes games. Monster Hunter. Final Fantasy 7, Devil May Cry 5, Guilty Gear, Persona 5. All these type of incredible games start coming out. Super high quality, voice acting, beautiful graphics, high production, great gameplay. Western games start getting exposed and we can't understand why but then the future starts to unravel the depths of what happens in gaming studios starts to unravel then we find out that a lot of western studios they have been saturated by toxic work cultures where their turnover year on year is 80%, 90%, 110%, 150%. They are eating through developers like the world is going to end in a week. Now the picture starts to become more clear what is happening with gaming why was games going up with games like oblivion mass effect gears of war halo which are all these type of games and now all of a sudden what something that had so much potential good but still had potential to be even better start to decline 
costs start going up, but the scale starts going up, the dreams are going up, but the quality is going down. What is happening? These people are employing the most toxic people, power hungry people, disrespecting people, and then that is having a domino effect on the games. Oh. Wow. Japan, Japanese games what are they doing they have got their heads down and they are fighting for the throne that they have lost so when you're ahead you don't really care you do what you're doing who cares we're ahead we're winning we're the best we don't need to try that hard don't you Look at it now. Now let's go back to Square Enix. Square Enix sees this. They cannot understand Western Studios. Unless the studios are in-house in Japan, I don't feel like they understand it. And now they see they can make it work with their games like Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts, their internal studio games I feel like they are focusing more on those games than Western Studios games because it's what they understand and they see that people will come to them if the quality and the game quality is there so essentially it just looks to me like they're abandoning their plan for Western games yeah and western studios working with them which is unfortunate because i feel like they could have done incredible work with tomb raider if they just i don't know man i don't know what they could have done but to sell it off oh, 300 million for tomb raider dsx you know so many other games games like legacy of kane I don't know. And then to Bracer Group. Because as I said before, Bracer Group is too much power. It's too much power. Last year, they made over $10 billion. Over $10 billion last year alone. Which is not surprising when you see the amount of studios they own. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. The amount of games, PC games, mobile games, console games, media, um, books, comics that they own. It's just silly. And I don't like it for the future of gaming. Because it seems to me like the future of gaming is going to come down to who has got the most money. Who can buy the most successful franchises and make the most money out of them. So they can have more money in the pot to acquire another studio unless there is some type of legislation that is implemented in the future that stops companies from mergers like this or no sorry <laughs> i said mergers buyouts takeovers yeah of companies gaming is just going to become smaller and smaller and smaller Microsoft, Sony, Bracer Group, Tencent. It's just becoming ridiculous at this point, right? Like how these companies just getting bought up and what are these gonna be the, the four big companies that are just buying everything? You know, at this stage, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know what Warner Brothers games, you know, WB Games that's going to get bought out eventually. I wouldn't be surprised if Square Enix got bought out, Capcom got bought out, Take Two Interactive got bought out, EA got bought out. I would not be surprised if they got bought out by, I don't know, Tencent or Sony or Microsoft or Bracer Group. So I don't like it because. Too much power for one company, as far as I'm concerned. 
I don't know, right? Uh, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, as I said before, I think it's a bad decision from Square Enix, right? Even though I said that they were struggling to understand how to manage them, it all comes down to effort. If some, if a company like Square Enix really wanted to and really tried, they could do the best work with that game. But now we're not going to know. Because Bracer Group. So yeah, that's all I really wanted to say about that. Uh, crazy Bracer Group. Bought out um, um, Square Enix Montreal. Um, Edos Montreal and Crystal Dynamics. Crazy. I'd like to know what you guys think about that. Um, 300 million. I don't understand it. I don't understand. If you guys do, please let me know in the comment section. And you know this is not the end as well. That's the boring thing about it. This is nothing to them. You gotta think about it, in less than a year. Less than a year ago today, they just bought Gearbox, Borderlands, and all their games. And now they've just spent, and that was over a that was over a, a billion. And now they've just bought uh, a part of Square Enix Montreal, Crystal Dynamics, and Edos Montreal. Man, no. I don't know. Simple guy, me. <laughs> so, Warriors, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Um, I'll be replying to you in this comment section. Look out for my future coming videos. So I've got a lot coming. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Laters.